Welcome to another video. We want to show that the natural log of 101 over 100 is greater than 2 over 201. No approximations allowed, no calculations using a calculator. We just want to do some calculus, okay? Maybe not so much of calculus, um, well, it's going to be some kind of calculus, okay, because we have to use the power series for the natural log function and maybe for this expression. But before we could start, we have to first know what kind of manipulations are required or necessary or sufficient <laughs> or necessary and sufficient. Let's get into the video. As soon as you see a number like this, 101 over 100, you know you have an improper fraction and you can write what is inside as, let's just do some work here. Look, 101 divided by 100 is the same thing as 100 plus 1 over 100, which you can break down into 100 over 100 plus 1 over 100. So this is 1 plus 1 over 100. That is something you can write here. So um, we have the natural log of 101 over 100 is the same thing as the natural log of 1 plus 1 over 100. That is one way we're going to write that. Now, I know that there is the infinite series representation of the natural log of, recall, now look, if you have the natural log of 1 plus x, for x less than 1, okay, for x less than 1, by the way, this is what you have. x is between 0 and 1, because definitely you have to have it this way, okay? Now, if x is between 0 and 1, then we can say that this can be written as the sum of all terms from n equals 0 to infinity. Uh, this is the power series representation of this expression. It's one of those things you must know as a calculus student. Just as you know for sine and for cosine and for e to the x, you must know this one, that this is negative 1 to the n minus 1. You have x to the n over n. This is the power series representation of the natural log of 1 plus x, where x is in this range. So we can confidently go here and say, let x be 1 over 100. It satisfies this condition of x being between 0 and 1, and we can say that we have this expression, natural log of 101 over 100, is basically equal to this sum. Well, this is not correct. This is supposed to start from one because n cannot be zero because of this guy, okay? So it's gonna be equal to the sum. We just write it here, copy that. n equals one to infinity of negative one to the n minus one x to the n over n. And just to make ourselves comfortable, we can just write out some of the terms that represent this. Remember, we said x is 1 over 100, so you can actually approximate this value, okay? By approximation, not by punching in a calculator, but I'm saying we can say this is equal to the first term when n equals 1 will be just x, because this would be 1. The next term will be minus when n equals 2 is going to be x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4. Ta. It goes on forever. Okay, that's what you get from this. But, now listen. If we choose to leave out the rest of this series, then we can say that this quantity must be greater than the first four terms. So observe that the natural log of 101 
over 100 is definitely greater than if we stop here because it's supposed to be more but it's just greater than x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 if we just stop here why am i stopping here you're going to see that we don't need the rest of it because we're going to do the same thing when we get to the right hand side now this second part of the solution is the juicy part of it because i want you to remember that from your algebra class if you have one plus if this is the common ratio and this is the sum of an infinite series it is because the common ratio is negative one or negative r that's your common ratio and the first term is one so we might as well say that this is the sum of all terms starting from n equals zero to infinity of negative r raised to power n is just the common ratio raised to power n so if you have one times negative one half the next term will be negative one half the next one will be positive one over four you just keep multiplying by this and that's exactly what we're going to try to create from this notice that two over 201 can be written as two over 200 plus 1. Now I can divide everything here by 200, divide by 200, by 200, by 200. I'm going to end up with 1 over 100 divided by, if I divide this by 200, I get 1, divide this by 200, I'm going to get plus 1 half of 1 over 100. It's essential that I write it that way because I'm trying to generate this 1 over 100, which is our x. So we can say that 2 over 201 is the same thing as x over 1 plus half of x, or we can write it as x over 2. To even make it look better so that it is similar to this, we can say this is the same thing as x multiplied by 1 over 1 plus x over 2. Now we have something that we can write in this form. If we write out the first few terms of this expression, remember this is the common ratio which is negative x over 2, we can say that x times 1 over 1 plus x over 2 is equal to x multiplied by, if you write out the terms of this series, the first term is going to be 1, the second term will be minus x over 2, the next term is going to be plus x squared over 4 because you keep squaring this, right? And then the next term will be minus um, x to the 6th over 8, no, x to the 3rd over 8, tap, 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 and we keep going okay plus and so on now in order to help ourselves we do not want to create um, excessive terms what we want to do is now let's go back here i stopped here at x to the fourth over four i didn't add what was coming so this is not enough because i'm supposed to be adding something that's why I could claim that this is greater than what I have because I removed something. When I get here, I'm going to be making this, this side to be bigger than this side so I can establish an inequality between both sides. So see what's going to happen. I'm going to say that this x, which is 2 over 2 or 1, so this time I'm going to say, I'm going to go back and say 2 over 201, I will not include this term because this is, oh, it's less. Because you see, this is big. I'm supposed to subtract something from it, but I'm not. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to say that this is less than, if I distribute this x, it's going to give me x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 4, if I truncate it here. So, this is less than this, 
And this is greater than this. If I can show that this is less than this, then this must be less than this, or this must be greater than this. So, need to show. Want to show that x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4 is greater than x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 4. Clearly, these two will cancel each other out. This takes this out also. So what I have left is just this interaction, x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4. We want to show that it is greater than x cubed over 4. Well, these two are x cubed, so I can pull them to one side, and I'm going to have x cubed over 3 minus x cubed over 4 is greater than x to the 4th over 4. Is that true? Well, if I resolve this, this is going to be x cubed over 12. Mm, so I have x cubed over 12 is greater than x to the 4th over 4. Here, since x is not equal to 0, we can divide both sides by x cubed so that we have 1 over 12 is greater than x over 4, which means that x will be less than, x would be less than 1 third, right? Yes. That's true because this is true because x is, let, x is equal to 1 over 100. Since x equals 1 over 100. So, since we've been able to show that this is greater than this, and this is greater than this, and this is greater than this, then clearly this is greater than this. Okay? by the transitive property ln of 101 over 100 is greater than 2 over 201. Yeah. If it's not smooth enough for you, leave a comment in the comment section. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.